Hello everyone. In today's video, uh, we will talk about the news uh, news figure of the monthly car sale for July 2020. It's announced just now, a few hours ago, I think. And the the numbers are not as uh, encouraging as I expected earlier. But uh, we had a uh, 3,533. And sales in July, which Neo says is the second highest record after the June figure of 3740. So as such, it looks like there is a slight decrease compared to the June figure. We were expecting probably maybe slightly higher figure, but it turned out to be lower. And as per the Neo's uh, statement, the reduction is because they had to shut off the company for five days to prepare for the launch of their newer uh, model, its EC6 model, uh, the delivery for which will start in September 2020. So if we take into account those five days of shutdown, then the number will start looking good because it could have been equal to or better than that if they were working on it. So it looks like the demand for the cars are still there. They are just not able to meet that demand. And if that's the case, I think these numbers are still good. The stock market recorded positively with increase into like 12.70 as I speak at 7.25 p.m. in the morning. Uh, it's at uh, trading at around 12.70 compared to the 11.94 closing on Friday. There are a couple of more things that needs to be kept in mind. Uh, in July, the mix of the ES6 and the more premium ES8 model is also a little bit of not favorable. We had more reduction in percentage terms in ES8 model compared to ES6 model. Uh, the second announcement is that the Q2 report will come out on August 11, which means that we have a, another important news that will be coming out in uh, soon, and that is going to uh, affect the price of the shares in the coming days. Now, if you compare this July figure with this April figure, and the reason to do that would be how it's the things are moving uh, forward from this quarter to the next three quarters. So you can see that July numbers are much higher than the April numbers. And if we can think of the August numbers are going to be hopefully much better than the May number. And the September numbers are going to be very high, primarily because we will have a EC6 model, the third model launched. So, so g given those th situations, and these things are, I think, will be reflected into August 11 call, and that's how, because of these future expectations, we can think that the stock may uh, may respond favorably to these numbers. But temporarily, because between August 11, the next uh, news, which will be the the, the release of the uh, of the August mm, sales number on September 2nd or somewhere around that there will be a period where we expect less numbers to uh, less news to come out so the stock may uh, may react uh, unfavorably so with, with those things said I believe that uh, the share price to fluctuate on the lowest side at eight dollars to it could go high, I mean it's very hard to predict, but it could go as high as uh, 14 dollars So you can expect and plan your strategy around this. Um, I wanted to see if I have anything else to tell, but it looks like the future deliveries and things will depend upon the launch of the EC6 model. And uh, the Lee, the CEO of this company, he says that we are they are ramping up the production they are potentially starting or planning to start their own production line they have the demand and they need to meet the demand by increasing the production and if those things are keep working like this we expect the share price to stay stabilized or keep increasing thanks for taking a look